Visit SolveMyChallenge.com to learn more about alcoholism. As a society, we share a complicated history with alcohol. During the later part of the 19th century, politicians, women's groups, and churches banded together to convince lawmakers to outlaw alcohol. In 1919, the U.S. Congress passed the 18th Amendment, making the sale and distribution of alcohol illegal. Alcohol consumption declined but did not prevent illegal use and distribution. In 1933, prohibition ended and as a result, millions of Americans have made alcohol an important part of their social activity. In the 1960s, researcher E. M. Jelinek reported that excessive and abusive use of alcohol was a disease. Within 10 years, a public effort was launched in the United States to educate people that alcoholism was an illness. In 1980, the American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual third refined the definition of alcoholism by differentiating between alcohol abuse and dependence. However, people continue to use the term alcoholism when they discuss all forms of problem drinking, when in fact alcoholism and abuse have specific clinical definitions. Alcoholism, also known as alcohol dependence, is a chronic, progressive, and potentially a fatal disease. The symptoms are drinking excessive amounts frequently, inability to control drinking despite medical, psychological, or social complications, increased tolerance for alcohol, and serious withdrawal symptoms when the person stopped drinking. On the other hand, alcohol abuse is a chronic disease in which the individual refuses to give up drinking even though it causes the person to neglect important family and work obligations. However, abuse, left untreated, can become dependence. The symptoms are drinking when it is dangerous, drinking and driving, frequent excessive drinking, interpersonal difficulties with family, friends, and CO workers caused by alcohol.